Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an ad tracker and use it using the Click Counter script from scriptrocket.com. Uh, the first screen here is the administration screen for Click Counter Tracker. Uh, it's password protected, so only the administrator, i.e., you or your authorized people, can access the uh, tracking information and management information. Um, so I enter my password to log in. Okay. I've logged into the script now. Okay, at the top here I get news um, from our company as well as any information if there's a new version of script to um, download. And here are the main menu options um, create database tables, which is what you do initially to install the script, uh, options for creating web page counters, for creating and managing trackers, and for doing conversion of split testing of sales letters as well as looking through all your activity logs and deleting old activity logs. So in this particular case, I want to do create tracker to create a new ad tracker. Now I'm going to create an ad tracker for my site, um, Dinosaur Jungle, and I'm going to put an ad in the Dinosaur e -zine. So I choose an ID or code word to identify the tracker, so we call it Dino uh, e -zine. The Dinosaur e -zine. I'm going to e -zine advert for Dinosaur how many clicks from that e -zine lead to um, my um, website and the URL to send my traffic to. So there I am. If I click OK, I will now have created my new ad tracker for advertising dinosaurdongle.com. There's the details of the summary details, obviously no clicks yet. Uh, this is the page where traffic will be sent to, dinosaurjungle.com. This is the link ad tracker link, which is the link which um, I actually would have it appear in the e-zine or I would submit to um, using my classified ad or search ad or wherever I'm going to advertise. I can modify the details of the tracker, I can change the landing page, the destination URL, change the description of it. I can also uh, delete the tracker, reset it, which means set all the clicks back to zero, and I can show the um, detailed log of all the activity on the tracker. Obviously there is no recorded clicks yet. I go back to the management options. Um, I'm back on the screen here. Um, okay, what I'll do is I'll show you all my trackers that I've created so far. So if I do view manage tracker, these are all my um, ad, ad trackers I've created. Different IDs, description that I've entered for them, the landing page. So I've got, you can see I've got, uh, I've got two, for example, for um, Dinosaur Jungle. I've got some for Bingo Card Printer, which is another website my company owns, Word Search Printer. Uh, it's got more than one, and for each ad tracker it shows me how many uh, clicks they've received, uh, total clicks and unique clicks, so if there's re repeat clicks I would see that. So for example if there's a big discrepancy here, so for example the 793 total clicks, 203 unique clicks, rather suggest that uh, I might be getting some duplicate clicking, maybe uh, same person clicking more than once, perhaps there's uh, some kind of competitor trying to wear out my ad if I'm paying per click or perhaps um, there's some kind of affiliate fraud or click fraud going on it would help me detect that and um, give me all the details of the IP addresses involved so that I can follow that up. Okay if I go into Bob's e-zine which is this, the first one in the list here I can see the details that it said 66 clicks 59 unique clicks it's an advert in Bob's e-zine for this website this is the link that, uh, of the tracker um, and I can modify the details. If I show the details log here, you'll see the details of the tracker. It shows me the time and date of every click, the IP address, and uh, the, the user cooking cookie to tag each user. And you see there's a duplicate IP address here. If I want to look up the activity on any particular IP address, so for example, click on this IP address, I can see all the activity by that IP address there. It tells me which um, tracker it was on. And I can go back to the tracker there again. I can also, um, by default, it will show me all the clicks, unique clicks and duplicate clicks. Obviously, if you've got a lot of duplicate clicks, you might be overwhelmed by the same one appearing hundreds of times. So um, if you do show, show unique clicks, it will just show the unique clicks without any duplicates being shown in the list here. And then you can step through different pages and you can see all your um, clicks on your advertising links. So it's very useful for tracking how many clicks, where they came from. Uh, and you can keep track of all your marketing campaigns, how effective uh, each one is, whether they're generating results. Obviously, you don't have to keep paying for advertising campaigns that generate no results, uh, and how much results, and also, it will also, as I said, 
help you detect any problems with people repeatedly clicking on your ads. So that's it, creating an ad tracker using the Quick Counter Tracker script from um, scriptrocket.com. The script also does include a lot of other capabilities I've mentioned, including web page counter, split testing, and so forth. So if you go to scriptrocket.com, you can find out more about this script and other easy-to-use PHP scripts. Thank you very much.